Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor the service and sacrifice, but most importantly, the life of First Lieutenant Michael E. Johnson of the United States Marine Corps, who gave his life to defend our nation. Mike Johnson grew up in the sand and surf of Virginia Beach, along with his twin brother Dan and his younger brother Steve. At Hickory High School in Chesapeake, he was an accomplished athlete and a member of the crew team. And from an early age, he always talked of following in his grandfather's footsteps and becoming a Marine. Mike loved the outdoors, and after visiting relatives in Oregon, he decided to attend college at Oregon State. In college, he met his soulmate, Dorinda, and in 2007, they were married in her hometown of Kaiser, Oregon. Mike told his friends that one day he hoped to become a park ranger, bringing together his love of the outdoors with his commitment to public service. But for Mike, duty came first. And with our country at war, Mike decided that his own dreams would have to wait. He joined the Marines, and after training at Quantico, Mike and Dorinda moved to Okinawa, Japan, where First Lieutenant Johnson was assigned to the 7th Communications Battalion, 3rd Marine Headquarters Group, 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force. Two months ago, Mike was deployed to Afghanistan, where he was assigned as part of an embedded team training the Afghan Army. On September 8th, his unit was attacked by insurgent fighters as they approached a village in eastern Afghanistan. And in a firefight that lasted over eight hours, Mike and three other Americans were killed. As a husband, a son, a brother, and a friend, Mike was a positive influence on everyone around him. He loved his family and his friends, and he cherished every moment he had with them. Mr. Speaker, today across Virginia, flags are flying at half-staff in honor of Lieutenant Johnson and his memory. But for those lucky enough to know him, he will always be remembered for the smile that never left his face and by the words he lived by, carpe diem and semper fi. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields.